I'm going to blame the menopause for it. It's a little out of my comfort zone, if I'm honest. Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm going to put my makeup on while I chat to you. I'm heading out shortly um, for lunch, which is such a treat. And um, it doesn't happen every week or every day, I promise you. Um, so I'm going to go and meet the lovely ladies from Viking Cruises. You may remember that I recently went to the RHS Chelsea Flower Show. And whilst I was there, I could not stop taking photos of one of the gardens. It was a beautiful garden created by Christina Cobb for Viking Cruises. And yeah, I will put a link to my blog post about it above and below if I can. Um, such a beautiful garden and the PR lady got in contact afterwards so we're meeting for lunch today which will be really nice now I've got a tiny tiny bit of colour I did put factor 50 on whilst we were away we've just come back from one night in Devon we stayed overnight at the pig hotel at Coombe which was lovely um, to break the journey because we were due then <laughs> to get a helicopter the following morning to go to the Isles of Scilly. But it wasn't running, <laughs> which was very um, frustrating, which um, then meant we had to get what's called a jet boat, organized by the helicopter company, um, to go the 28 miles. So the helicopter is 15 minutes and <laughs> the jet boat, totally exposed to the wind and, and uh, the sand and the sea. You could sit inside, but we wanted to sit outside. It took one and three quarter hours. Thankfully, we did spot a dolphin, <laughs> which really made the journey. Um, but yeah, it wasn't the, the best start to the holiday, but we got there and we were booked to, all paid for by the way, everything I'm chatting, chatting about today is all paid for by us, not sponsored. Um, so we were staying on the island of Briar, which is one of the more, I would say, rugged islands. We've probably been to the Isles of Scilly now, I'm guessing five or six times. And we stayed at the Hell Bay Hotel before, and we stayed on Briar. We've also stayed on, once we stayed on St. Mary's, the first time we went, probably about, I don't know, 15 years ago. Um, we, I've, <laughs> I used my, what do you call it? I used my new face this morning, which meant that I put on lots of um, gel for it to work. And I think I've got a little bit of pilling, but it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, back to, where was I? <laughs> back to Briar, yes, yeah, so the places we stayed. So the first time we went, we stayed um, at the Star Castle Hotel on St. Mary's. The second time we stayed, we split the time between the Hell Bay Hotel and then the Sea Garden Apartments on Tresco, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're self-catering, the apartments. Um, and then the next two times, we just stayed at the Sea Garden Apartments on Tresco. And then this time we stayed at the Hell Bay Hotel. Um, <laughs> if you're looking for white sandy beaches, turquoise seas, you just have to go to the Isles of Scilly. Um, it's just, <sighs> it's just a magical place and you really feel like you're escaping <laughs> when you go there. Um, so, Every day we would go around a particular island and there are very lovely little boats that take you from one island to another and they have a timetable and it all depends on the tides, what times those boats are, right, what am I doing? Um, and it's, yeah, you will see in the video which I made the other day how beautiful it is. It's just, well, okay, so each island, let me tell you about each island. So St. Martin's is 
the one I would say with the most incredible beaches. There is Great Bay, which is, and Little Bay, I think it's called, um, which is on my favorite beaches on the islands. And they are just so huge and deserted. Um, so we went for a day trip to St. Martin's and we got our lunch at the Island Bakery, which I highly recommend you do. It's just in the center of the island. And then we took our, Matt had a crab roll and I had a tuna roll and we took them and had a little picnic on Little Bay and yeah, and then had a paddle. Um, so that's St Martin's. I think there's a vineyard as well, but we've never actually been there, so I can't tell you about that. Right, where was I? I'm just gonna put a little bit of concino. I seem to have got a little mark here. Anyway, um, yeah, St Martin's was one we went to. And then, <laughs> while we waited for the ferry to come back, we fell asleep on the beach. That was the day, first day, and we were shattered. Then the next day we went to Tresco. I had lunch booked for us at the Ruin Beach Cafe, which has stunning views over what's called Old Grimsby. And then we went for a walk around Tresco and we also popped into the New Inn, which is another place that you can stay on Tresco and they've recently done it up there. It looked lovely. Um, and then what else did we do? Oh, no, that was the second day. And then the third day, we stayed <clears throat> on the island of Briar. Now, what's lovely about Briar is it, it's an island of two contrasts. So on one side, the water is incredibly still and gentle. And on the other side, <laughs> you've got the Atlantic waves crashing on the rocks and it's incredibly exhilarating just going and looking at and watching all the waves come in. So we had a lovely walk around Briar and we also went to a beach called Rushy Bay, which is my favorite beach on Briar. Um, yeah, often you'll go to the beaches <laughs> and there's no one else there. It's, yeah. So it's really lovely just to, chill out on the beach and um, just take in the scenery. Stunning, absolutely stunning. You'll find ornithologists love going there. And I'll be honest, we were some of the youngest people there. I mean, I'm 56, my husband's nearly 60. So it does attract, at this time of year we're in June, so it does attract an older crowd, but you know, that also tracks families during the summer. <clears throat> I'm really croaky today for some reason. Um, Kate and William take their children. So the island of Tresco is owned by, well, is leased out from the Duchy of Cornwall by Tresco Estates. And they also run the Hell Bay Hotel on Briar. So I know that Kate and William have stayed in a place called Dolphin House on Tresco, I, I think at least once, maybe more. And on, <clears throat> on Tresco, you can hire out bicycles if you want to and cycle around the island. Um, they also have golf buggies as well, I think. So to compare each island, I would say Tresco is quite manicured and it's incredibly well looked after. In previous years, we've gone to the Tresco Abbey Gardens as well, which are beautiful. And if you do go to Tresco Abbey Gardens, look out for the golden pheasants. Incredible, incredibly coloured birds. They just look quite surreal and mythical. So look out for those um, if you go to Tresco Abbey Gardens. Um, yeah, so can you tell I really love going there? <laughs> It's just so beautiful and yeah, it's taken a little while to get used to not waking up every morning and opening our curtains and opening the doors to the balcony and seeing the sea 
and all the little sparrows going mental and chirping, chirping, chirping away and coming and sitting on our balcony and just chirping. The birds there are really tame. Even the thrushes and the blackbirds are really tame. After I've had lunch in Wimbledon Village, then I need to get the train to Surbiton because I need to go and see a new physio about my hip. Um, I'm going to blame the menopause for it, but the last, what are we now, June, the last three or four months, I've not been able to go running, which is very disappointing because my hip's playing, not my left hip. I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping it's just muscular and that they're going to give me some exercises to do and it will strengthen or, I don't know, um, lengthen my muscles so that they don't, they're not as sore as they are at the moment. Um, but we have been walking a lot and in the Isles of Scilly we did so many steps, as you can imagine. Um, so yeah, so I've got to go to video after that and then I'm back here editing the Silly Isles video. Sorry, Isles of Silly, you should always say. Um, and getting, making sure that's up today so yeah that's my day today i'm going to finish this makeup and yeah come back to you later right so this is me ready to go i just thought i would share with you my favorite spfs at the moment this one is ombre solaire and it's their factor 50 it's a spray and it comes on white and i've got that on my arms today um really rate it and then this one i use for my face which is again ombre solaire and it's their anti-age super uv fact 50 you can see i've used lots of it i'll be ordering some more later on the boots website so i'll show you my whole outfit it's from mint velvet and it's a little out of my comfort zone if i'm honest um but i really love it and it's two separates um it was something which the stylist at John Lewis recommended to me and I trust her implicitly. So I'll show you the whole outfit now. Here's the whole outfit, I hope you can see it okay. Um, it's wide leg trousers, which are really floaty and comfortable and a blouse or shirt top. Um, I will link to it below. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's so cool and floaty. I wore it on holiday one evening when we're having a meal and it's viscose so it's completely breathable and what's great is I can put this with jeans or with white trousers and then put the trousers with a white top. It's actually navy blue so pair it with a navy blue top as well so yeah i am going to rush out the door now and get the train to wimbledon and um yeah really looking forward to lunch i will take this camera with you start again i will take this camera with me and i'll see if i can show you some of wimbledon village because it's really lovely it's got some great shops i've got about half an hour before my lunch so i will give you a little look around i'll see you then So I'm back now from a very humid Wimbledon and a delicious lunch with the ladies from Viking in a restaurant called Megan's, which I highly recommend. Um, absolutely delicious food. And then I went to Thurberton and had my physio assessment. I'm very pleased to say she thinks it's nothing more than um, a tendonitis to do with my hip flexor and she's given me some exercises and she's hoping in six weeks or so I should be able to go back running again which is brilliant news. 
So yeah, I am making sure that I edit the video all about my trip to the Isles of Scilly and load that tonight. And yeah, then I'm gonna chill for the rest of the evening. And um, oh, I might be able to share with you what I'm up to on Friday. I'll need to check, but very exciting trip um, out, a day out. So I'll see if I'm able to do that. And if so, I will include that in this week's vlog. I'll see you soon. So I'm ready now to head off to the Hurlingham Club to watch the tennis. This dress is an old one from Hobbs, very, very old. Um, I've got shoes from LK Bennett. Again, they're quite old as well. And this um, bag from Sophie Holm. And yes, that's quite old as well. So I've got a blue cashmere cardigan from Marks and Spencers to take with me because it might get chilly later. I've got sun cream and um, yeah, I hope I will be able to share a bit of the day with you.